Well hello everybody and welcome to my little um, vintage inspired bathroom tour. My house was built in about 1976 so it is a vintage home per se but not um, what eras that I really love which are the 50s and 60s. So I try to um, decorate or style my um, bathroom the best that I could with what I have here um, so it has that type of feel for it. So I'm just going to give you a little look see my bathroom is very small and gray out so it's going to be a little maneuvering but um, come on with me let's take a look around. So first of all as you will see um, I have a little 1960s bathrobe that I have hanging on the back of my door and I do wear that sometimes but it's primarily there for show. It's for decoration. So and then I have the, the, the usual, I got some little um, nautical pictures hanging out my kids when they were little. So there it was like 20 some years ago. And my light system as you can see is not vintage, um, but it's got lots of storage so I will be staying because the bathroom is so small. And here is my little vanity area. I just love my robin egg blue um, stuff in here. So we just replaced this when we moved in the vanity part. And kept it as neutral as that we could and then just have little teeny vintage accessories. I got my little toothbrush um, holder and my toothbrushes that I have right now are a little big to fit it so we have a little crisscross there and my soap dish and uh, my Dove soap that I used and then um, over here I just have little lipsticks and my makeup and stuff that I use when I get ready and right over here I have my little um, above toilet um, shelving unit. I just put a little chrome looking one on there and on top I have this little, and it's not vintage, but we all, all as girls have so much makeup, you know how that is. Keep my makeup in there just to keep it organized, kind of blend in as much as I could, that's why I got the white one. And then I have my cold cream and my witch hazel over here and I do use my cold cream, especially when you have those layers and layers and layers of makeup on. <laughs> Take that off. It's a little candle and then my little, this is my little catch-all basket that I keep all my stuff from, um, Petite four that I get that I'm gonna use or trying to use and a little catch-all basket and all my little hair products. My sister's a beautician, so I get lots and lots of hair products all the time. And there's the man basket. And underneath here, I just keep um, my little rollers in the um, little pink things down here. I keep my rollers and my picks and my pins and all that. And of course, a non-vintage hair dryer, but we need that. And I also have this cute little vintage um, razor little razor and it, it does work. I don't know, I wouldn't use it, but I just got that because I thought it was cute and kind of matched my bathroom because just like my sink, my toilet is this lovely little, I think it's, I call it Robin Eggs Blue. So I'll go over here in the corner and I have my vintage towels, which the boys have been told do not use because they are for show. And I have cute little wall decorations. These are little um, crocheted things that my grandma Bean made. So I just hung them up there just just for a little decoration and some cute little slippers that matched my bedroom so I hung them up also. And then up here I will show you my curtains. These are so cute and kitschy. I just love them. I just love all the prints on them. I'm sorry if it's not picking that up but it's kind of grays and pinks and yellows and it has like just little old kitschy flowers and um, a man and a lady and a, uh, instruments and whatnot, but I just like that. I really like the colors. So that's primarily why I put that up. Not that it necessarily matches my bathroom too much, but I just really like the colors and it looked kind of vintagey. And I kind of have pastels in here. So that's my curtain. And then up here in my little teeny um, shelf over by my window, a little pot my son made and my one little um, head vase or head planter. And some cute little things I found at a thrift shop that I thought just kind of looked cute in the bathroom. A little pitcher and salt pepper shaker. Just liked them. And then this little fella, I don't know if you can see him because of the back light there, is a little lipstick holder and a little um, hair comb. It has little poodles on it. And another little picture that my son made. And I have some pictures of my children hanging up when they're little and playing in the water. And then I have this cute little um, hanging shelving unit here that I had gotten at a Renaissance Festival. Just got some of my, because my bathroom kind of used to be done seascape, so I kind of kept them in there because I liked them, and some more pictures of my kids. And then another one of those little head vases with, I just like picking up these little containers from the old um, powder and cold creams, I just think they're kind of cute. So that's what I have over here. So then on the front side of my bathtub, I have another little towel rack, and then I got my little portal towels that I have hanging up here. So I kind of have a little bit of 
this, that, and the other thing in here for decorations. And if you can see, what is that hanging with the hose? Is one of my many hair dryers, and this one works. But um, I picked this one up, and this is when I first used, started using when I did all my vintage hairstyles and whatnot. But um, I've gotten many to replace it, so now it's just kind of a little decorative thing that I keep in the bathroom. So there's my little Robin Egg Blue bathtub and the little toilet. So I just like that color; it's nice, bright, and cheery. Kind of keeping my out for some chenille matching um, toilet seat rugs and stuff, but I haven't found it. But I found these pretty close in color. Then down here, I found this cute little vintage scale that matches my bathroom. I just love that, and it's very accurate, unfortunately. And I have some um, cute little, I'm sure you've seen these little plaster, plasterware um, fish and stuff before. I got a little pink one that I'm trying to fix, and he'll be up here soon. And then just some um, uh, stuff that I've either printed off. You know, I like the little, the hair dyers. I think that's cute. And then this was an old ad that I had gotten and I just framed it. And this is another one that I just went on and found this picture, another little Avon ad. And I just printed that off and then I just framed them up and I have them on my um, bathroom wall for Waller. It's really kind of a nice little conversation piece. People come in here and love looking at those because sometimes they're in the bathroom for a while. So, anywho. And then I have these cute little, I'm sorry they are not politically correct towels hanging here, but I liked them because they had the cute little pictures of a little puppy dog. And then a little girl puppy dog with her purse. Sorry about that. No offense to anybody. <laughs> but they're cute. You, a lot of that old stuff, you, you'll get it and you're like, oh, oh, yeah. You know, they had different standards than we have now. That is for sure. So I'll just give you a little spin around of my whole bathroom here. So that's what she all looks like. And that is the tour. So thank you for coming along with my little tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I was like watching everybody else's um, little home tours when they have them because I get more little ideas. Or I hope maybe looking at my little tour of my little um, rub and egg bathroom that maybe um, inspired you or gave you some ideas for your own place. You know, you don't have to have everything 100% vintage. You can mix and match. And I like my modern conveniences just like everybody else. But I like the vintage stuff too. So I think we should all um, mix the old and new together. So thanks for coming over. And uh, the next little tour we'll be taking will probably be my, my boudoir. So everybody have a nice day.